Image Enhancement. X-Ray Vision's image manipulation and enhancement tools enable users to improve image quality without having to reshoot X-rays or other images. This portion of the guide will highlight the primary enhancement tools. Brightness Contrast Control. The imaging application offers an easy access BC adjustment tool that can be used for diagnostics. To utilize the tool, open a patient image for viewing. Select the BC icon on the vertical toolbar to the right of the user interface. Note, the brightness contrast control is only available for grayscale images. It will be grayed out if a true color image is displayed on the desktop. To adjust brightness and contrast, click and drag the sliders located on the right side, brightness, and bottom, contrast of the tool. Or click and drag the crosshair located in the center of the control box. To reset the brightness contrast back to its original setting, right-click or double-click on the control. On the main menu, click on the Save button to store the changes. Brightness Contrast and Gamma Correction X-Ray Vision contains a standard brightness contrast and gamma correction utility that can be used to improve image quality. In general, Brightness Contrast Enhancement adjusts the brightness and the contrast of an image in order to try to improve the overall dynamic appearance of the image. Gamma correction differs from standard brightness enhancements. It dynamically adjusts each pixel to prevent what was out at the extreme light and dark ends of the spectrum. Usually, gamma correction is used in combination with one of the other brightness contrast enhancement tools to dramatically improve the overall appearance of an image. To apply brightness contrast or gamma correction, select Enhancement Brightness Contrast, and choose either Brightness Contrast or Gamma Corrections. The Enhancement window will be displayed. Use one of the following image adjustment buttons to size, resize, or reposition the images displayed in the original and resulting image preview windows as desired. Select the Magnify or Reduce the image in the preview. To magnify an image, click on the image in the preview with the left mouse button. To reduce the magnification, click with the right mouse button. Click the Auto Resize button to automatically resize the image to fit the viewing area. Use the Brightness and Contrast sliders or click and drag the sliders located on the right side for brightness and bottom for contrast of the adjustment tool to enhance the image as desired. The enhancements are adjusted in real time in the resulting image preview area. Click OK to apply the settings to the open image. Click Save button to store the changes. Other common brightness contrast enhancements. The imaging application offers additional BC enhancements available on the main menu under the Enhancements Brightness Contrast. The Equalize Enhancement is a non-linear approach to altering the brightness contrast of an image. This enhancement is typically used to improve the image quality of very low contrast images. Most images span an entire range of brightness with all levels well represented. However, sometimes images are too light or too dark, and some levels are overpopulated, leaving others underpopulated. The Equalize effect modifies an image so that all levels of brightness are equally well represented within the image. The Equalize option is only available for grayscale images. The Normalize enhancement increases the contrast in an image by stretching the range of image intensities so that they can cover the entire range of intensity values. The Normalize option is only available for grayscale images. The Adaptive Normalize operation usually results in the best brightness contrast for an image. The Adaptive Normalize approach uses adaptive algorithms to determine the best application of the Normalize algorithm. When adjusting the brightness contrast of an image, the Adaptive Normalize operation is the recommended first attempt. Sharpening and Laplace Edge Enhancement Due to the fact that most images have some degree of blurriness, from focus problems or inherent limitations in the image taking process, the imaging application offers two forms of image sharpening, mask sharpening and Laplace Edge Enhancement. Apteryx recommends the Laplace Edge Enhancement algorithm as the preferred method to sharpen an image. This method applies an unsharped mask image processing filter. 
Although each method utilizes a different approach to sharpening an image, both approaches can compensate for the blurriness in an image. To apply sharpening to an image, select Enhancement, Sharpen and Edge Enhancement, Sharpening to use the standard sharpening tool from the main menu. The applicable enhancement dialog box displays. Use one of the following image adjustment buttons to size, resize, or reposition the images displayed in the original and resulting image preview windows as desired. Select to magnify or reduce the image in the preview. To increase the magnification of an image, click on the image in the preview with the left mouse button. To reduce the magnification, click with the right mouse button. Click the Auto Resize button to automatically resize the image and make it fit in the viewing area. The mask size and sharpening factor work hand in hand in determining the degree of sharpening that is applied to the image. The sharpening factor specifies the magnitude of the sharpening operation. Use the slider to manually adjust the degree of image sharpening as desired. Click OK to apply these settings to the open image. Click on Save button to store the changes. Noise Removal Noise in an image can be caused by a number of factors, such as dust, scratches, or image static. A variety of noise removal reduction algorithms are provided. Fast Median, Median, Minimum, Maximum. What is identified as noise in an image differs with each selection. In most cases, median noise reduction results in the best image quality. The minimum and maximum noise reduction filters are usually useless on smaller images. However, due to their fast speed of computation, they are typically utilized on large images. It is important to note that excessive noise reduction leads to a loss of detail. Applying Median, Minimum, or Maximum Noise Removal. Select Median, Minimum, or Maximum from the Enhancement Noise Removal menu option the applicable noise reduction dialog box displays. Click OK to apply these settings to the open image. Click on Save button to store the changes. Image Macros Image macros allow users to create a customized sequence of enhancements filters that can be applied to images. To create or add a customized image macro, open a patient image. From the menu, select Enhancements, Image Macros, Edit Macros. Click Add Macro and enter a name. The new macro name will be displayed under the Macros section. Click on the macro name just added to highlight Select It. Click Add Command to add and customize a desired filter. Repeat this process to add a sequence of filters to the macro. The macro will trigger the filters in the order displayed under Macro Commands. To change order, select the desired command and use the Move Up or Move Down button to place it in the desired position. Click Test Macro to preview the resulting image. If satisfied, click OK to exit. Once the macro is created, a user can customize their toolbar to include a button for the new image macro just created. Refer to our Customizing the Toolbar and Toolbox video tutorial for more information on creating a custom macro button. Real-time filters. Real-time filters are sets of image enhancements applied to any image that is open, but are not saved to the raw images. The filters can be turned on and off at the user's discretion. Certain filters can also be customized by the user to perform varying levels of enhancements. Note, real-time filter settings are specific to the computer on which they are configured. Open and view a patient's image layout. Left-click on the real-time filter button on the status bar at the bottom of the program. Note, there are several other ways to access real-time filters and real-time filter options in X-ray vision. One alternative is to navigate to Enhancement, Real-time filters. Filters can also be toggled on and off by right-clicking in the background desktop of the imaging program. The selected image filter displays on the status bar when it is enabled. To disable a filter, reselect the enabled filter or select a different filter. If no filters are selected, images open for viewing will be displayed in their original state. Adjusting real-time filters. 
To adjust values used with a real-time filter, left-click on the real-time filter button on the status bar, select real-time filter options, and choose the appropriate real-time filter from the list. Adjust the settings as desired and click OK to save the changes. Ignore color images, ignore large images. Real-time filters can be configured to not show their enhancements on images that are in color or very large. These options appear under the Real-Time Image Filter Options menu. If the Ignore Color Images option is checked, any image that was captured or imported into X-ray vision as a color image will not be filtered by the real-time filters. If the Ignore Large Images option is checked, this option prompts the user to set a maximum image pixel dimension for use with the filters. Any dimension value that is higher than the specified number will not have real-time filters applied to it. Note, right-clicking on an image and selecting image-related information, image information, will show that image's pixel dimensions. The Ignore Large Images option is primarily utilized for excluding panoramic and cephalometric images from being filtered. Full Screen View The full screen view allows users to make adjustments on an image while viewing the image on the entire screen. Right-click on the image and select Image Operations, Full Screen View, or click Image Full Screen View from the main menu to view the image in full screen mode. The buttons in the bottom right corner perform various functions on the image. Note, these functions are used for diagnosis in full screen view only and are not saved to the image itself. These are some of the tools you can use under full screen view. The mouse zoom tool allows the user to click and drag on the image or use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. The fit to screen button will make the image fit within the exact size of the window. The zoom in and zoom out buttons will zoom in and out from the image. The brightness and contrast button allows the user to click and drag on the image to adjust the brightness and contrast. Dragging left and right adjusts the contrast and dragging up and down adjusts the brightness. The Gamma button is similar to standard brightness adjustment, but it is a more powerful enhancement. Gamma dynamically changes image pixels so that there is always a relative brightness difference between them. This ensures that changes in density within the image will be maintained as opposed to all pixels becoming white or black. To adjust the Gamma, click on the icon to activate. Single left click and hold the mouse and move the cursor left and right to adjust the Gamma. Moving left will increase the gamma, and right will decrease the gamma. The Spot Magnifier button will zoom in to a user-specified area of the image by clicking and holding the left mouse button. Right-clicking with this tool will create a zoomed area that will remain displayed until the user clicks on the image again. Double-clicking allows the user to change the size and magnification level of the zoomed area. The Spot Enhancer button functions in the same way as the Spot Magnifier, but it stretches the histogram of the selected area further than zooming into it. This exaggerates differences in density within the circle. The Other Enhancement Tools button contains other options that are not used as frequently as the functions on the main button bar. Filters such as Emboss and Invert can be accessed in this menu. The Navigation's arrow button turns the mouse cursor into a hand, allowing the user to click and drag on a zoomed image to navigate to different areas without zooming back out. Compare Images The Compare Images function allows a user to view up to four images in a side-by-side -side comparison window. Any of the functions listed in the Full Screen View can then be applied to one or all of those images. To compare multiple images, open an image and right-click on it. Select Compare Images. A new window will appear showing images for the patient. Select the images to be compared by left-clicking on their thumbnails. The images will appear on the left side under the Select Images heading. Note, if you select a layout thumbnail, you will be prompted to select images from within the layout that you wish to add to the comparison. Click OK and the images will appear side by side. To use the image manipulation tools, Click on the arrow button to expand the functions bar. 
Click on the Link Views button if you wish to make your enhancement apply to all of the images being compared. The button will turn green if the images are linked. Simply click the button again to unlink the images. Select the Hide Text button to toggle between the text being displayed above each image or being hidden. To enable or disable a real-time filter, click on the indicator bar at the bottom of the window and click on the desired filter. The indicator bar text will change when a filter is enabled. 